The mold, usually cast iron or steel, is laid on refractory bricks so that glass will slump on it using the sagging technique. Ceramic fibre sheets are placed on the mould and cut into a crown-like shape with a sharp knife. A separator is sprinkled onto the ceramic fibre using a sieve. The separator can be plaster, kaolin or pumice. After cutting and processing the edges, the glass is laid onto the mould. Then it is cleaned. The glass is positioned at the centre of the mould. The kiln is closed and the glass is fired at 780 degrees Celsius, the suitable temperature for a 5 mm thick piece of glass. After firing, the kiln is opened and the piece is retrieved, checked and cleaned. This is a 14mm thick slump basin. It has a drill hole to enable the water to be drained. Thermal shaping technique. Ceramic fibre sheets are applied onto the shelf of the kiln. Some small pieces of fibre are spread around the perimeter of the surface of the glass. The separator is sprinkled with a sieve onto the fibre sheets. After the glass has been cut and processed, it is positioned onto the fibre sheets. The glass is centred onto the fibres. The kiln is closed and the piece is fired at between 780 and 800 degrees Celsius. After firing is complete, the kiln is opened. The piece is checked and cleaned. Here is a glass tablecloth made using this technique. It is 2.5 metres long and 1.5 metres wide and was created for an exhibition concentrating on the arts of the table. A pane of glass is prepared for sandblasting. Brown paper is used to protect both sides of the glass. Masking film is applied to the side of the glass to be sandblasted. A pattern drawn on a sheet of paper is spray mounted onto the masking film. The spray mount glue allows the paper to be repositioned. The triangles that comprise the pattern are bordered by a 2mm wide furrow. 
The strips of masking film that surround the triangles are cut and peeled away. The exposed parts are sandblasted to a depth of at least 2 mm. The depth varies according to the thickness of the glass used for bouchardage. The key to successful bouchardage lies in the aspect of the engraving depth. The piece is cleaned and the masking film is removed. The glass is placed onto a square mould for thermal shaping at a temperature of 620 degrees Celsius. After firing, the glass retains the shape of the mould. The technique of bouchardage consists of taking out fragments of glass with a hammer and chisel, here demonstrated on the triangles lined by the engraved furrows. The resulting pattern diffracts light and the rough features of the work contrasts with the parts of the glass that remain untouched. Voilà.